just before this last delivery, I heard the wicketkeeper screaming that the power play is finished. Let's push the fielders back. I don't think it is a good idea. Is push that uh, third man, deep third man, back on the boundary. Could be out. Oh, I thought he was just going straight into the hands of Shahid Afridi at mid-off. But well struck, youngster. That was a friendly full toss. How did Sangakkara miss it out? He's, he's annoyed with himself. Using his feet and there's another fumble. There have been a few little mishaps in the field today. Pakistan, uh, before the start of play, worked very hard at their fielding. They had a good little routine going down here in front of the commentary box. But um, I'm afraid there have been one or two little mishaps like this. That should have been fielded. And uh, of course, there we are. And there we are. He's changed ends, hasn't he? You make a big finish. Oh, that's well played. Struck away into the gap. Well, that's uh, what he likes to do. He doesn't like to be bogged down, that's for sure. He's cut loose there and absolutely thrashed that one into cow shot corner. Oh, he's a top player, Dinesh Chandimal. He picked the line early, it was outside the line of off stump, and there was no deep mid wicket. He made sure he made it count. Yeah. Bowled him, clean bowled him, that's good bowling. Very, very good bowling. He's kept it really tight as Mohammed Hafiz. He's now got two for 13 and conceded the, his uh, runs at about 2.8 and over, so he really did build the pressure there. And uh Mahela Jaiwadana is the new batsman, Sri Lanka's captain, and straight away he shows the way. Just stroking the ball into the gap and getting himself away for a single, and as we speak, uh, the rain starts to fall, and this is um, the, uh, well, the Sri Lankan equivalent of Hessian. Normally Hessian goes down, and they're doing this because uh, when it rained here uh, a couple of days back, uh, unfortunately the pitch uh, sweated a lot under the covers, and so this uh, is an effort to try and stop the sweating they strike. That's what we'd like to see from a Sri Lankan point of view. Then comes the bounce throw. The Marmus and Afis immediately said, no, man, what are you doing? Oh, what a delivery. That's hit him in the head. It's hit the keeper in the head. Now, that one actually absolutely spun and bounced. Went straight over the middle of the stumps. And uh, signaled by, so it didn't hit anything. It's uh, Safras Ahmed has uh, been hit in a nasty blow. Wonderful. There's an edge. Pat onto the pad and onto head. A beautifully deceived by Afridi. The loop, the angle, the turn. You couldn't ask for more. Yes, well, interestingly enough, I mean, that's why it hit him, because uh, it actually went up off the leg. Yeah, that's nice. He's saying he's okay to go on. When they start hurting, it's really tough, so you just try and get some protection onto it. And that's the little inside-out chip on the offside. It's uh, nicely played. A little bit of a fumble down there again. Gotcha. That's well bowled. That one just uh, drifted in. It brings up the 100. It's... Uh, 100 for three. Head of the head of the pile. Sharp delivery went back to the ball that he should have been playing forward to. It's 103 for three. Please. Problem is that if you don't attack them, then they come hard at you. They are uh, very attacking when you're looking to defend. He likes to throw himself on the ball every now and then.
Down the track, will this be taken? Gull is in business, not really. Omar Gull has missed another catch. Just uh, an apology to uh, Afridi, who will not do the job. That really should have been taken. Uh, try describing this. Just simply unbelievable. And how could you miss it? And he's just missed a big fish. Kumar Sangakara would have been just what the doctor ordered for Pakistan. Not out going down the leg side. Afridi feels that it's uh, it's a close thing. That's put away. Clears the infield, clears the outfield on the bounce over the rope. Sangakara missed by Omar Gul and uh, well he's put one away from four. Shots are hidden in that area at times upishly. And he just doesn't seem to know how to catch the ball. Not for the first time, it's missed one, and Julian Fountain certainly has got his work cut out. Right, there's the signal then for the batting power play. Sangakara is on 49, Jawardna on 16. Works it away nicely for a single. There'll be a huge roar from the crowds because Sangakara is now exactly on 50. Just a thumbs up to his partner. The uh, dressing room gives him uh, a healthy applause for uh, a milestone achieved. It's been a workmanlike innings by Kumar Sangakara. He had to work really hard. Uh, she's been there quite a, almost at every venue and seen quite a few hundreds made by Kumar Sangakara. Yahali. Acrobatic stuff. But it was well struck by Kumar Sangakara, what a good shot, inside out drive, over the man at cover, Umar Akmal was the fielder, who was leaping up in the air to control the shot, well the batsman won. Well there was an element of risk, but Kumar Sangakara had to take it just over extra cover, gave himself a little bit of room. It's always good to have uh, wickets in hand when you're looking to launch. Now, at the moment, you're in the batting power play. The Sri Lankans will have to be very careful to negotiate this. Now, it must be pretty painful. That's Umar Gul. And that be due to that uh, drop catch, uh, Ramis? I'm sure, because he didn't get it in the, uh, in the palm. Down the track, that's lifted gloriously. Six! Umar Gul has been taken to the cleaners. And this time, the ball boy drops the catch. Well, that wouldn't hurt uh, Sri Lanka at all, even if it, if it was taken. But that six will definitely hurt uh, Pakistan because that's a way of Kumar Sangakkara clearly showing us what his intentions are and how well he's timing his uh, strokes. Just look at this. Down the pitch, taken on the up and over long on. Using the pace of the ball and timing it so well. First six of the innings. Is that uh, fellow feeling the pinch of that hit from Kumar Sangakara? Easily done. Yes, they absolutely loved it. Uh, this time it's the lap sweep. He'll uh, earn runs. Possibly four of them. He's such a good improviser. Describe the shot with what Makar Yunus and Tony Gray. Isn't it? He's got onto that one. That's four. That's well played. That was. Oh, what a cut shot, what a cut shot, beautifully played, it whistles away for four. You can't time a cut shot better than that. Well, that shot's created a conference. What do we do? Mate, uh, you come and bowl. Boys, <laughs> oh, hit that for six. Got inside that and helped it on its way. Well, that's beautiful timing as well. He was on the move, I think, as the ball uh, left the bowler's hand. Again, a short delivery from Umar Gul. But, uh, oh, exquisitely executed that full shot. It was so obvious that he was going to ball short. Sangakara knew it way before that. He was in position well before the ball was delivered. And look at that. All he did, use the pace and on its way beautiful hit look at that flying lovely stroke oh and into the gap through the offside well what a magnificent shot that was too
moving backwards and uh, bisecting the field.